and welcome to Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okechukwu. And now we bring you a lowdown of how the markets performed at the close of trading Tuesday the 30th of November. Trading in the equities market continued its bearish streak for the second day this week as the NGX All Share Index dipped 0.05% to 43,248.05 basis points. Now, Icon Insurance led the gainers by 9.21%, Access Bank followed suit by 4.40%, Wabig Insurance was up 4.17%, Echo Bank was also up 3.73%, and FCMB was also up 3.33%. Now, the top five laggers were UPDC Real Estate Investment Trust at 9.89%, Ikeja Hotel was down 9.63%, UPDC PLC was down 9.32%, Shams PLC was also down 9.09%, and Union Bank was also down 6.19%. Meanwhile, the NGN's group closed flat at 16 naira 40 cover per unit, with a total of 2.227 million shares traded in 77 deals worth 36.727 million naira. At the NASD OTC market, Total volume of shares were 200,000, valued at 275,000 Naira. As the NSI shared 0.22% to close at 744.48 basis points. At the FNDQ Securities Exchange, a total of 51.726 billion Naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and OMO papers were traded on the platform. While the central bank special bills for the 3rd of January 2022 finished off with four deals worth 4 billion naira, at a discount high of 5.70% and a low of 5.00%. At the IE window, the naira remained unchanged at 415 naira 7 cover per dollar, at an intraday high of 456 naira 97 cover and a low of 405 naira to the USD. Open repo rates advanced by 2.25% to close at 17.25%. Now to the market's news. MTN Nigeria prices IPO at 169 Naira per share for retail investors. Ella Lakes Board approves listing of company shares on the London Stock Exchange. Fidelity Bank begins audit of 2021 financial statements. Cotix PLC reports a 16% rise in profit after tax to 365.06 million naira in the second quarter of 2021. And that'll be all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. Do join us again tomorrow. I'm Justina Okechukwu. Bye for now.